Ed gave up smoking on Labor Day. He had his first heart attack on Halloween, his second on Thanksgiving, and he died about a week before Christmas. So he loved holidays. Oh, the shark had. I had looked at her in her red jacket and her black hair and her blue eyes and her white skin and said, I love you. Even Carl could have heard me. He's, he's dead. By 9 o'clock, I'm at the funeral home. My bag's in the back of a taxi I've asked to wait. I dawdle until a crowd forms. It's a sea of blue hair and blue stoles. Oh, well, it's teeth. Scarlet billow. But Tessie didn't. Tessie came up to me. Carl looks good, she murmured. Thanks. He'd lost a lot of weight in the hospital, six weeks. I think we brought him back up to snuff. The undertaker's assistant asked me if there was anything he could do to make Ed look more natural. <laughs> Give him a cigarette. Natural? He's dead, wearing bifocals and a hairpiece. What is going to help the illusion of reality here? <laughs> Maurice must be the old blind guy in the 1964 Savile Row suit. I pay my respects, my condolences. How I met Miriam... Mimi. <laughs> yes, of course. Tessie smiles. Margaret Mary Walsh approaches the casket and we turn. Tessie and I turn. Together. At the casket, both of us greeting her like a couple. The most natural thing in the world. And then there I am back in the line, two people away from the score open casket. I inhale. Swallow. Somehow in this business, it's always the first time. I close my eyes, bite my lips, and the tears come. Tessie said, I hate you today. And I think there's hope. Debbie picked out the suit and tie, and the pocket hanky, and the cufflinks shaped like bulldozers, and the hairpiece. It had a lot of them in the bathroom. All of Ed's hair on these little white heads. You could watch him age on those heads. We were talking about these last few referrals I've made her. She sold three houses, good commissions. I told her, you know, I can't keep slipping you these tips forever. We're going to run out. I'll have to start killing them myself. I bend over to kiss Miriam goodbye. Two pecks on the corpse in the continental matter, noting that she is absolutely encrusted. As I back away, my jaw is firmly shut in a supreme effort to control my emotions. When I'm back in the cab, I open my mouth and take out the earrings. <laughs>